Most people are really, really bad at following up. I'm talking on the phone or through email. Most people and most salespeople are awful at it. And because of that, they're losing out on so much money. So in this video, I'm going to explain the best ways to follow up and get prospects to respond to you, hiring managers to respond to you, or just normal people in your everyday life to respond to you. So you're going to get value out of this video if you're already in a sales role, or most importantly, if you're trying to get in a sales role. So what is following up? Following up is in this context, let's say I've sent a prospect an email. I'm trying to book a meeting with them. I've sent them a really great first email and I wait a day and I haven't heard back. Or maybe I have interviewed for a job um, or I've applied to a job and I really want the job. I've emailed the hiring manager or the person hiring or the VP of sales. I've emailed them hoping I'm going to get a response. I never get a response. Where do you go from there? So let's go ahead and let's dig in. Here's the biggest issue and where 99% of people mess up when they follow up. Your follow-up, your so in the context of this, a follow-up is you've sent the first email, they didn't respond to you, what is next? That's the follow-up we're, we're discussing here. Most people mess up to where they've sent an amazing first email, they've introduced themselves, they've talked about how great their product is or, or the need they solve for the prospect. They've sent an awesome email, they didn't hear back, where do you go from there? Most people mess up, they've sent an awesome first email, the next email they put no effort in. And so that's, you respond, hey, did you see this? Hey, I'm just bumping this up. Hey, I wanna make sure you saw this. Hey, did you have the time to look at this? Uh, so and so, did you see this? Hey, I was hoping to hear back from you. Hey, just following up. Th that's what a lot of people do. It's what a lot of salespeople do. I get those emails almost on a daily basis. That's what the the non-educated or the non-enlightened sales rep does because that's just what you're taught. That's that's the easiest thing to do. Hey, I've sent an awesome first email. If they haven't responded, obviously they didn't read the email yet. So let me just, you know, let me not put a ton of effort forward and just hope that I can get a response this way. And it doesn't work. So instead of, after you've sent an awesome email, after you've had an awesome phone call and they've ghosted you from there, instead of you following up in a, in a empty manner, in a way that doesn't provide any value, here's what you can do instead. Here's what you should always do. Instead of you following up and asking, hey, did you see my email? Hey, did you see this? You always want, and this is very important, I do this on a daily basis. You always want to provide a reason in your follow-up for why you're following up and preferably something that can provide value. So let me give you an example. Let's say I am uh, I'm interviewing at a company and where I want to interview there and I've emailed the hiring manager and I've said, hey, I'm really interested in this job. I've got this amount of experience. I'm proving to you right here, right now that I'm able to prospect because I found you, I found your phone number, your information, all of that. If anything, I at least would love to have an interview. Is that possible? They don't respond. A lot of people are gonna follow up the next day, say, hey, did you see this? But you have to provide value in your follow-up because what that does is, one, it separates you from all the lazy sales professionals out there the people who just don't provide value. And two, it gives them a reason to open your email and to think about you and to actually give a response. So as an example, I've interviewed with someone or I'm trying to interview with them. I've sent them an awesome email explaining myself, everything about me. They don't respond. It's not the end of the world. A lot of people are gonna email them back and say, hey, did you see this? Here's what you should do instead. Find a way that you can provide value to them in your second email while also showing them that you are willing to put more effort forward to get a response from them. So showing them, hey, you are so worth my time, I'm going to spend extra time just to get a response. As an example, the hiring manager doesn't respond to me the first time. What can you do to provide value? What can you do to them to show them, hey, I'm actually a legitimate sales professional who tries really hard. You can provide, you can find a nugget about the company. 
You can find something that they shared on LinkedIn recently. You can send them an email and you can say, hey, I saw that you shared this on LinkedIn. I love the value that you're providing in, within your company. I love how, how uh, you position yourself as a family culture, how every member of your team is like family. That is so important to me and that's exactly what I'm looking for in the company I'm trying to work with. Again, I would love to have an interview with you. Is it possible to set anything up? So now you've gone from just asking, hey, did you see this? To instead, you've given more of a reason to show them that you can provide value to them. You've shown them, hey, I'm capable and I'm willing to do research on your company. So you can send them a link. Hey, I saw you won this award three years ago. That is so cool. I actually know so-and-so who also has won, won a similar award. It looks like we're in about the same network. I would love to, at the very least, have a conversation with you. That's what you can do if you're trying to get in touch with a hiring manager. Let's say it's a prospect. It's someone that you're trying to book a meeting with them for them to talk to your company. What are ways you can provide value to them? So let's say I'm selling a marketing solution and my customers are automobile manufacturers. So let's say my customer is Chevrolet and GMC and Jeep, but we want to get Kia on board. What do we do? You send them an email. You say, hey, Kia, we're working with so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. We're working with Chevy. We're working with General Motors. We're working with Jeep. Give your value proposition, blah, blah, blah. And let's say they don't respond. What a lot of sales reps do is they'll follow up right away and they'll say, hey, did you see this? Hey, just bumping this up. Hey, just following up. And that doesn't work because everybody does that. So instead, what you can do is Hey, you've already got customers that are their direct competitors. You can provide value by saying, hey, we, uh, you, whoever the person is at Kia, you can say, hey, we just had an awesome month with Jeep. We grew their impressions by 350% on Facebook. Here's a screenshot. Would you be open in, to discussing further? Now what you've done is you've provided value to them. You followed up with them, but you haven't, come across as nagging. You've given them more of a reason to respond. A lot of people, when, when it's all said and done, if they look in their inbox and they see a message, they see a preview and it says, hey, did you see this? Hey, just following up. Hey, just bumping this up. Hey, just wanna make sure you saw this. Most people don't even open that email. And the reason for that is because they think, huh, if they're asking if I saw this, if I haven't responded already, it's probably something that wasn't worth my time. If they're asking if I saw this, if they've already emailed me multiple times and I haven't responded, they probably sent me something that wasn't worth my time, so I ignored it. I'm not gonna look into this any further. Versus if you respond to them giving value, hey, I saw this, I saw you did this, hey, I, I read this on your LinkedIn, hey, we're working with your competitor, this is exactly what we've done. Now that's completely different, and instead of you being nagging, instead of you being a lazy sales rep, instead, you're providing enough value for them to want to open your email, to want to read your email, and to want to respond further and book a meeting. And so think about this. If your job is to book meetings, and in your follow-ups, you're always saying, hey, just following up, hey, did you see this? Hey, just wanna make sure you saw this. You're leaving money on the table. That's money that's not coming into your pocket. Those are meetings that you're not booking. But if you make the simple switch, hey, I noticed on your LinkedIn you were doing X and Y. This is how I think we can help you with that. Hey, we are working with your competitor. This past month, we helped them do X, Y, Z. Here's some proof. Would you like to discuss further? Now, you've actually given these people reasons to respond and because of that, you're going to get a lot more responses. You're going to book a lot more meetings. And a lot of times what the responses look like is, hey, thank you for your persistence. Hey, thank you for following up with me. Um, I would love to discuss further. Or, hey, thank you for getting back to me. That's I'm actually not the right member of my team to talk to about this, but let me CC the correct contact you can discuss further with them. Happens all the time, almost on a weekly basis for me personally. So always make that adjustment. Instead of putting as little amount of effort as you can into a 
uh, into a response, into a follow-up. Put as much effort as you can, and it's going to make all the difference in the world. I will tell you this. I get emails probably every day, at least every other day, from viewers of my channel, and I love them. I love that you guys email me. I, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate the support, how much I appreciate you watching my videos, taking the time to email me. I love that I'm able to help you out. But so often what happens is someone will send me an email and I'm a busy person. I've got course students. I've got my own job that I'm in. I've got this YouTube channel. I've got a lot going on. And um, somebody will email me and what I always do is every week I go over emails that I've gotten that I haven't responded to yet and I do my best to respond to them. But so many people will send me a great first email. Hey, Jacob, I follow you on YouTube. You, you've really helped me X, Y, Z. I had a question. They'll ask me a question. The next, the next follow-up from them, either that day or the next day, is, hey, did you see this? Hey, I just wanted to make sure you saw this. Jacob, did you see this? And... I usually will respond because you follow my YouTube channel and I and I appreciate you for doing that. But at the end of the day, I'm not willing to put a well thought out response into an email if you've proven in your follow up email that you're not willing to do the same for me. Right? Can you see the difference that would make? If I'm looking at a response and all you say is, hey, Jacob, did you see this? You've shown, hey, you've not put any effort into into a response. Why me, someone who is busy and it has a lot going on, and this is exactly how your prospects think. Why would I, I've got all of this stuff going on, why would I spend more time responding to someone who spent 10 seconds on a follow-up? So again, that's not to say I'm special at all. That's just how, that's how your prospects think, right? They, there's no reason for them to really put their time into thinking, huh, I'm not the right person to talk to them. Who who at our company would be best? Who, who should I CC? Who should I respond with and show them, hey, you should actually talk to this person? Why would your prospect go through all of that effort and all of that time in the middle of their work day if in your follow-up you've taken five seconds? So again, this is uh, all I try to do with this is just show you what you should be doing, and what you should not be doing. If at the end of the day, if you've gained any value from this, I, I promise you, you're going to make more money. The, the biggest takeaway is do not ask someone, do not ask a prospect to give you more time and more attention and more effort than you've already given them. Always go the extra mile in your follow-ups. Always share what you're doing with their competitor. Always share that you've done a bit of research on them. Hey, I saw that you went to the University of Georgia, really tough loss this weekend to Alabama. That being said, get into your short pitch, ask them for time. It's the smallest little things like that. Hey, I saw you went to this college or, um, hey, I, hey, I'm a fellow alumni of Valdosta State University. Would love to connect. Do you have time this week? Or, hey, I, I um, in your response, hey, I saw you posted this on LinkedIn. This is exactly how we can help you with this problem. When do you have time to talk? Little things like that will go a long way. Do not ever do the, hey, did you see this? Hey, just following up. Don't do it unless you've emailed them like three, four, or five times. At the end of the day, as a last ditch effort, can it work? Yes, does it work sometimes? Yes, but always go the extra mile. Your prospects will thank you for that. You'll thank yourself for that and you'll make a lot of extra money. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you want more tips, more advice like this, all I ask, leave a like and a subscribe to my channel in the comments. I've got a course where I also give more hands-on help and tips uh, and would love to absolutely help anyone who's interested. If you have any questions, just let me know.